Lord, Lord, we thank you this morning for the ability to assemble, even online, to come together as a body and to lift up your name. We repent of our sin. We repent of our transgression. We recognize that it's you and you alone. You are our rock and no one else and nothing else. You are our rock, not the stock market, not the government, Lord, not our buildings, God, not our bank accounts. You are our rock. And we appreciate those other things. We don't don't take them for granted, but ultimate Hallelujah. honor, worship, and praise goes to you and you Hallelujah. alone. And Hallelujah. when you decide to do a thing, Hallelujah. it is done. And when yes. you decide to shake a thing, it is shook. Yes. When you decide yes. to get our attention, God, we you've got our attention. Yes. So we lift you up as Hallelujah. King of Kings yes. and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. And we thank you for this body of believers. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for churches all over the world right now that are that are online and doing different things to encourage yes, the yes, saints. Jesus. And we pray today, Master, that the saints are indeed encouraged, that Please, you would Lord speak God. by your word, Jesus. that your word, would, your gospel would go forward, right. that our yes. perspectives yes. would be realigned, that we would recognize that in all of these things, you're still working something together for good for them that love you yes. and who are called according yes. to your purpose. Lord. Your we recognize purpose. that your gospel hasn't changed, that your word yes. hasn't changed, that your mission for us and purpose for us Hallelujah. has not changed, that you yes. still deserve honor, that you still yes. deserve yes. worship, Hallelujah. that you are still yes. upholding the, the world by the word of your power, that yes. you are still yes. ruling and reigning from heaven, that there yes. is nothing yes. that has transpired that has caught you off guard. So we yes. Praise you in yes. your sovereignty and praise you in your yes. wisdom Hallelujah. and praise you Hallelujah. in your mercy Hallelujah. and praise you Hallelujah. in your grace Hallelujah. and praise you in your provision Hallelujah. and praise you Hallelujah. in your yes. infinite understanding. Yes. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Please bless Hallelujah. your name. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Lift your hearts to God and worship him this morning. Hallelujah. Worship him this morning. Hallelujah. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Worship him. Magnify his name. God, you are good. We, even in the midst of the coronavirus situation, we won't let a rock cry out for us. We lift our hearts to you. Yes, and yes, declare that you are King and Lord and Lord of all. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for protecting our families. Thank you, O Lord, for, for giving us giving us our daily bread, Father. Yes. Thank you, O Lord, that even in the midst of all these things, you are King and Lord. Thank you, Lord. We await your deliverance. We, we, we're asking for your deliverance. We pray that you would heal our country, heal our land, heal our world. In the name of Jesus. Ooh, name. Yes, Lord. We pray that in the midst of all these things, men and women, old and young, boys and girls would turn to you. Yes, God. And repent of their sin. Oh, Recognize yes, how fleeting this yes, life Lord. is. Lord, how quickly it's all over and the done with. Those who are. Yes, we turn Lord. to you. Lord, in the name we of thank Jesus. you for your gospel. Hallelujah. We thank you for Jesus. Thank you. We thank you that Jesus Lord. came. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Hallelujah. Led, thank you, that Father. Jesus suffered. That Jesus died. That Jesus yes, rose again on the third day. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you that Hallelujah. Christ ascended to the right, your right hand, Father, and He yes. makes intercession for us. Yes. And we thank you, you that there's no virus, there's no situation, <laughs> there's nothing that can happen that can undo the gospel Hallelujah. of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you that our names Hallelujah. are written in the Hallelujah. Lamb's Book of Life. Yes, God. And that's Lord, where we find our yes, joy. Hallelujah. Not in temporary circumstances, Hallelujah. but in eternal realities. Yes. yes. So we bless yes. you that you've conquered death. Yes, you, you rule have. over all creation. Yes, and that all have. we have Lord. to do now is occupy until you come. Yes. Until you come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we thank Hallelujah. you. Come on, praise him, church. Lord, Go ahead and magnify Hallelujah. the name of your God and my God, your king and my king. He is Lord and Lord of all. We love you, Lord. There's, there are kingdom purposes behind all that's transpiring. We don't pretend to understand it, but that's what faith is about. It's a living channel of trust between us and the God who made us. So God, we declare this morning that we trust you. Yes, we do. Come on, church. We Trust Just say it out Lord. loud in your home. Say it out loud wherever you are. Lord, we trust you. Lord, we trust you. We trust you with our living. We trust you with our dying. We trust you with our church. We trust you with our families. We trust you with our jobs. We trust you with our daily bread. Hallelujah. We trust you and you alone. You are our king. 
don't trust Lord, Come on and lift your hands right where you are. Bless the Lord in faith. God, we trust you. Some of you don't know what's going to happen with your money this week. Trust the Lord. Yes. Some of you don't know what's going to happen with your job this week. Trust the Lord. Some of you don't have no idea how it's all going to work out. I don't either, but we trust the Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So go ahead on church and receive the strength of your king this morning. Get down in your soul this morning that he rules and he reigns and he's in charge. And that he loves you. And that he Amen. died for you, and that he rose again on the yes. third day. And yes, Lord. To himself, Hallelujah. A member of God's elect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. That yes. no man yes. can yes. snatch yes. you out of his hand. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Bless the Lord. Help us to trust yes. you. Yes. And we trust Hallelujah. you, Master. Help us to trust we trust you, you as a congregation. Yes. We trust yes. you as a group of friends. We trust yes. you as brothers and sisters. We, we trust yes. you. Yes. And our declaration yes. is that we won't go through this alone. You are with us, but Father, we are with one another. We're going to help one another and serve one another. Help your help your your bro, your, your children, Lord, to know that there are brothers and sisters around them who are there to serve them and bless them and help them. Don't let the devil tell us that we're all by ourselves. We might be in quarantine, but we're still a community of faith. Yes, we are. Yes, We might be in our homes, but those homes don't stand by themselves. So you are not alone, beloved. You are Hallelujah. not by yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank Christ Lord. is with you in the community of faith at CRCC yes. and beyond. We are with yes, you. Hallelujah. Thank Thank you Lord. We will get through this You're together. Worthy. worthy. Yes. We will get through this together. Yes, Jesus. So, Father, we pray for those who are anxious about utilities and food and, and shelter and clothing and water and we ask, yeah. Father, that you'd reassure them that you know that they need these things, but that they'd keep yes. their eyes on the kingdom. Yes. Add yes. unto them everything that's needed. And we pray yes. that as a congregation, you would move swiftly to serve and bless your people. Yes. yes. That, they would, that, that their faith would rise. And that they yes. would know that you, you are king and lord of all. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we will Jesus. get through this as a family. Yes, Lord. As brothers and sisters in the Lord. And so thank you, Lord, for this time of thank prayer. You, thank you, Thank you for so many who are with us online today thank, thank you, you lord for their families and their children yes Calm their fears help them to release their anxieties to you yes God. help them to realize that men and women out there in politics and in science and in other they're doing the very best they can but ultimately lord you get the final say and that's a good thing yes, yes god and we are not in the hands of Hallelujah. government ultimately nor in the hands of science ultimately but we're in your hands Hallelujah. and that's a great thing so we ask your mercy upon our officials thank you for their wisdom have pray father for our national have officials mercy. for our local Thank officials, you. for all the doctors and nurses and yes. people who are laboring intensely right now to bring relief yes. to those who yes. are suffering. I gas for your, your spirit would yes. rest yes. upon them and that yes. even in the yes. midst of this pandemic, yes. Father, yes. souls would come yes. to you. Yes. The men and women would yes. come to you. Yes. Give their yes. hearts to you. Yes. Yes. Use this time, Lord, yes. for your own glory. Yes. 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 For your own glory. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord In Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Name. Yes. Come on and praise him for another 20 seconds. Come on and bless him like you're standing in CRCC this morning. Come on and magnify him. God, you're a great God, a great king above all God. From everlasting to everlasting, you're God. Throughout biblical history, your people have gone through calamity and famine. But you've always been merciful and kind and faithful. You said it that we, if we repent and call on you, Lord, you'd heal us. And bring us yes. 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 So we ask for your mercy today and your great grace. Oh, in the name of Jesus. If, it, if there's anyone in our congregation, Lord, who is sick of body, we pray for your healing power. Yes, you would heal throats and, and yes. lungs, Lord, and you would yes. eradicate the virus. In, in Jesus' name, Father, for those who have become become a little weaker because of their worry and anxiety, Lord, that you cause them to lift their hands today. And know that you are God of today and God of tomorrow and God of next week. Hallelujah. You can help us intentionally stay connected one to another because if there was ever a time 
where we where we should not isolate ourselves one from Lord. another. It's right now. Yes. So you granted us this uh, this gift of technology. Help us to use it to stay connected. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Well, beloved, thank you all for uh, coming to CRCC Virtual Church this morning on behalf of all of the elders and pastors and of our church, we are grateful that you are here. I do have a couple things I wanted to share with you this morning. So many of you online, thank you so much for doing that. So I'm going to bring up uh, just a couple things I want to share with you, and then we'll release you to the other parts of our service this morning. But you ought to be able to see on your screen, uh, if you're if you have a screen, you ought to be able to see on your screen this morning. A couple of slides that I want to share with you real quick. And then uh, we'll, and we also have some singing for you today. We have a full sermon for you today as well that I hope you would, before you uh, do anything else, that you would go and click on that and, and watch that as a, as a congregation this morning. I really do pray you do that. But I was just thinking yesterday about some of the unexpected blessings uh, that, could and prayerfully will come our way as we work our way through this pandemic. You know this very popular scripture on your screen this morning, Romans chapter 8, uh, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that we might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and to whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Yes. Now, few people, as I've written here on the screen, expected, I mean, I don't know what you all are expecting. Uh, I had some of my own thoughts about 2020, but I did not see this one this way. So few people expected to be dealing with literally a global pandemic right now. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Um, but our prayer in the middle of, of all of it is that God would receive our repentance, spare our lives, and heal our country and world. And we'll talk about that here momentarily. Mm -hmm. But in the providence of God, beloved, if you look at the scriptures, there is always a blessing for God's people in the midst of difficult times. Sometimes you got to dig a little bit to find it. Um, some, you know, we don't always understand the full nature of it. But while we're pressing through, you know, pressure has this wonderful way of allowing the things that matter to rise to the top. And if there's nothing else, we can learn what's really important. We'll talk about that here momentarily too. But throughout biblical history and in, 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 in church history, difficult times has, have a way of revealing some things to us. And so we would, this would definitely be classified as a difficult season for most families. And so the question is, while we await, we await the deliverance of God, while we're in it, what can we learn from it? And so again, from the Exodus through the land conquest and scripture through the captivities, God was constantly instructing his children, even in the midst of tough times. So I came up with three quick things that I'd like to set before you this morning as, as areas where the Lord and his providence might be teaching us, you know, might be instructing us. And the first one is the need for penitence or, or, to, or repentance. We talked about this in January as one of the keys to revival and restoration and renewal or repentance. And uh, I'm not going to say that the virus is the Lord's judgment and so forth. I don't know. But I do know that it's so difficult and so all encompassing that one of the things that we can do that we know that our Lord would be pleased with is to cry out to him in repentance. Again, during times of calamity, God's people historically have often recognized that his sovereign hand is somehow at work. And it's, it's true now. I don't know all of the reasons why. Um, no one truly does. But we do know that we could, this is a great time to cry out to God. And uh, we know that he is always pleased with our brokenness and with our contriteness. And typically, uh, from the Bible's perspective, when there are times of calamity that have been allowed by the Lord for his own sovereign purposes, Repentance is one of those things that he always is grateful for and happy with uh, in the hearts of his people. And so one of the things we can do is repent. Just look at your neighbor and say, one of the things we can do is repent. <coughs> look at somebody in the house and say, repent. I mean, again, I'm not that guy that's saying, this is the judgment of God upon the nation. I, I don't know. I don't know. It might be. I don't know. 
but I do know that in the midst of something this widespread, it would be wise for God's people to look to him and cry out in brokenness. Yes. That, yes. that I know from the scripture. Yes. Here is a very popular verse and a very powerful verse. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Now, if you want to read the backstory there, um, feel free. But the principle is a universal one that in times of, of difficulty, God loves it when we are broken and contrite. Indeed, he often uses times of difficulty to get our attention, cause us to see that we've let some things go, that our priorities were off, uh, that we prize some things that he hates, and to turn from those things. Now, I'm not trying to, again, speak prophetically over the nation. I am trying to say it would be wise for us to repent. So can we take a moment as a congregation this morning and uh, and just repent of our sin. Is that cool? Can we do that? Yes. All right. I hope I explained that properly. Uh, come on, let's let's look to God and, and cry out to Him on behalf of our country, on behalf of our area, and on behalf of our our church and our families. Father, we thank you this morning uh, for your great care of us. Lord, we won't presume uh, to to know your mind in this, uh, but we do know that. Yes. Throughout the Bible's history and throughout the history of the church, it yes. is a very wise and honorable thing for us to bow our heads in the midst yes, of, Lord. of yes. turmoil and say, yes, Father, Lord. we repent of our sins. Yes, so Lord. we do just that as a congregation this morning. Yes, Lord. Lord, we, we repent, repent of our sin. We, repent, yes, we are sorry. Please forgive us, Lord. We are sorry, Lord, for oh, how our priorities have gotten off, how we've become yes, so God. arrogant, how we have looked mm. at your word and cast it aside because we had a better plan. Yeah. We're so sorry for that. We're sorry, Lord, that we have loved the things that you've hated and hated the things that you've loved. We're sorry, Lord, that when you teach us very clearly from the scriptures what you want in, in our homes, what you want in our church, how you want us to be, we have cast those things aside. Yes, Lord. And so we're, 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 we repent. No, you don't stay right there. We repent as a, as a family. Yes. Come on, beloved. Let's repent to God. Make it personal. For, for the way I've, I've made mistakes in leading my family, Father, I repent. That is not lined the up times Lord, where I've not been the best Lord, husband or father, yeah. Father, I not listen to you, Not Lord, been the best pastor, Lord, yes. I repent. God, yes. God for, for allowing things in my Lord, home that shouldn't be there, Lord, I repent. Lord, in my death. heart, Lord, I repent. Uh, father, we repent as Americans. We Lord, repent as a nation. Yes, God. repent, Father, for some of the things that we have mm -hmm. advocated for that you clearly My God. We repent. Yes, Lord. We repent, Lord, for the... For the thousands and thousands of children we murder every day, we repent. My God. God, we repent, Lord, for upholding those things that you clearly have said aren't pleasing. We repent. Truth is, we deserve worse than we're getting, but you've been merciful. And so, Master, we repent. Now, Father, turn around. Repentance is not just saying we're sorry, but the repentance is a change. It's a turn. Yes, God. Father, turn us around now. Point us toward the, the way of holiness, the narrow road. your way and your way alone, Lord Jesus. We repent. right before you, God. We turn, Lord, from our wickedness and our transgression. And we look again to you. Set us on the rock. Put us, put us on the right path. Give us the courage now as we reset and refocus. Give us the courage now, Lord, to build upon the rock. Yes, God. We realize very quickly that some of the things we've been advocating for or some of the things that we've desired, all those things are so quickly dashed away. So, Lord, it behooves us to build on the rock. Yes. So that when the rains come, Yes. yes. And the winds blow. The house. Yes. Is blow. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next area that I see, y'all, are our priorities. You know, uh, something that we can learn in this time. We, we can. I mean, I, I posted a video on my YouTube uh, page, and if you're not, if you've not gone over there to check that out, I encourage you to, because uh, we're trying to use this technology to bring encouragement. But uh, priorities. And one of the things that we can do now is to look at where our focus has been. And uh, I write here on the screen here, one of the goods of 2020 so far 
is how clear our vision has become. Wave at me if you know mm-hmm. that right now the things that are really important are really clear, right? Yes. It, it's it's Man. really, I mean, it's, yes. I mean, when things are going good, you can get into this groove of pursuing all this stuff that doesn't matter a whole lot, right? I see you, James, right? But boy, I tell you what, when things start to get tight, you start to see what's really important. True. And what's really important, those things are painfully obvious right now. Christ and his gospel is really important. Amen. Right? When we don't know whether we're going to live or die, right? yeah. we don't, when we don't know whether we have a job, when we don't know that Christ and his gospel is really important. Amen. Family and friends become really important. Yes. You all to us right now are really important. Y'all are our family. You're really important. You're, you know, how you feel in, in, in your hearts are really important. Daily food and water. You know, right now, most of us aren't worried about, you know, going to Ruth Chris and getting the steak. We're just trying to make sure we can eat on Wednesday. That part. Amen. That part. Amen. A- Amen, somebody, Amen. right? Amen. We want to eat. All of us. I'm telling my wife, you know, girl, just get oatmeal, rice. God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't about, oh, you know, I want to go down to the such and such. That's the stuff you do when you're taking a lot for granted. But right now, it's about three three square a day reasonably healthy. Amen. 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 So that's, Amen. that becomes really important. Worship and prayer. How, all, how many of you took the Sunday service for granted? Right? And then now, you know, we wish we could be together this morning. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I mean, oh, I'll get there. I'll get there after praise and worship in time for the word. Y'all need to stop that foolishness. Jesus. It's, it's a Amen. blessing to be able to gather. Yes. We need to be Amen. on time yes. and ready to go. Amen. You yes. know, any little thing will make us miss Sunday service, and now we can't have it. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Right? Yeah. We need to be there. That it matters, right? Yes. Yes. Shelter and basic provision. Mm-hmm. Basic provision. It matters to us now, right? Yes. So, you know, can we keep the lights on? Uh, you know, or can we pay the rent? And, mm-hmm. and praise God for being able to do that. So that stuff Jesus. matters. Faith and an eternal perspective matters. Yes. It's so clear mm-hmm. to a lot of people that we really don't know when God will call us home. Thousands have died in Italy, thousands in China, hundreds here in the United States. We're believing God for deliverance. But the, yes. the basics are really important right now. And so let's trust the Lord and find joy in the God that's comforted them. Amen? Yes. Amen. Amen. So as I said, pressure has a way of making critical things rise to the top. So right now, it's really clear what's important. Um, and so let's pray in for the right focus going forward. For the right focus going forward. Matthew 6. Therefore, take no thought or don't be anxious, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal we shall be clothed. I'm going to mute everybody just for a moment. Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And so let's pray for just a moment. Uh, for the right priorities, that we keep the kingdom central, and that we trust God for our daily provision. Father, thank you this morning, again, for your great mercy and your great grace. Uh, we appreciate you so much. We pray now, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you would, uh, that you, that you'd realign our, our priorities. Uh, cause us to, to focus on you. Uh, that you would help us to see, Lord, more consistently what's really important and that you would allow us by your grace to to keep our minds stayed upon you, to keep our focus on your kingdom, and to trust you for our daily provision. Oh, what an opportunity we have right now to communicate the gospel, to make it clear to people, to make it clear to our children, to help them to see that life isn't about an iPhone, right? It's real obvious that that's not what it's about. It's real obvious now that it isn't about a new car or even more square footage in our homes. Those things are nice, but they aren't the most important things, but it's about you. It's about winning souls to you. It's about preparing for eternity. And so we bless you now for helping us to realign our priorities in Jesus name. And then lastly, saints perspective. Somebody say perspective. Perspective. I'm not going to read this whole verse, but uh, it's from first Peter chapter three. uh, One of my favorite verses in all the scripture. And it, it it communicates a, a truth to us. That's really important that we have an inheritance that's eternal 
incorruptible, undefiled, and won't fade away. Hallelujah. Right? It's a, it's, it communicates a very precious truth to us that our King and our Lord uh, has prepared a place for us and that the Lord is, he's going somewhere with all of this and that we can trust him in the midst of it all. And so beloved, let's just take a moment to pray. Remember, there's no anxiety in heaven. Uh, there's no worry around the throne of God. Heaven is our home. And although we're believing God for a quick end to the virus and getting back to quote unquote life as, as usual, uh, we, we need to recognize that God is, is, is sovereign. And, uh, and that he's given us the greatest gift that he could ever give us, his own son, and eternal life in Jesus Christ. And so we can lift our hands and we can lift our heads and we can keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. And so the Lord is helping us to realign our perspective. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for not only uh, changed hearts in terms of penitence, changed minds in terms of priorities, but changed souls in terms of perspective. We pray in Jesus' name that you'd help us, Lord, to have joy in the midst of these circumstances. Yes. To not be overcome with worry and anxiety, but to keep yes. our hearts and minds fixed upon you. Our true inheritance, our true inheritance cannot be spoiled by famine or disease or plague. Our true inheritance is fixed. It is kept in heaven. It is you. Yes. Yes. And so, Father, with that in mind, help us to realign our perspective. In the midst of all of this, we should still be the most joyful people around because we trust you. Amen. And when people say, aren't you worried? You can, we can honestly say we have our concerns, but our confidence and our trust is in the God of Abraham, yes, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Send his son to die for our sins. We have, the, we have an opportunity right now to communicate the gospel in almost every conversation. Yes, Help us to do that, Father. Help us to have that kind yes, of perspective. Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, believers, look, we have a couple things for you this morning. It is 1030. Um, so many of you have, have, have joined us online. Thank you so much. I believe our church can grow and prosper during this time. I really do. Uh, I believe that we can become even uh, greater connected during this time if we work at it, if we use those phones for something other than CNN and Fox News. Uh, I, I really do believe that. And I want to encourage you in that. I want to encourage you uh, to reach out to your friends and to your, your brothers and sisters in the church, to pray with them, to call them, to check on them. We're trying to do that at the office, just calling folk and, and checking on folk. But uh, since we have time on our hands, we're also available. I mean, you can meet me right here and we can talk to your budget or whatever you want to talk about. What a good time to do stuff like that. If you need us on the homeschooling education side while you're trying to keep your kids engaged, feel free. Let us know and we'll do that too. This final slide here, uh, right after we're done here today, uh, I, my prayer is that you've got this email already. And if you don't have the email, you can go to our website and, and join the mailing list right from the bottom of the page. Um, go and listen to this as a family. A mighty fortress is our God and uh, 10,000 reasons. And look, I know it may feel a little corny because you're not in church, but I want you to gather around your, your phone or your laptop or whatever as a family and actually sing the songs. Look at your neighbor and say, actually sing the songs, right? Actually, actually, actually sing, sing the songs. I mean, I'm trying to get it as close to some family worship as we possibly can get it. So really actually do it. Go ahead on and blast it and sing it. And you got all afternoon to get worried looking at the news. So not right now. Okay. So a mighty fortress is our God. 10,000 reasons. And then, you know, get you a, a, a toasted cheese sandwich or something, a peanut butter jelly sandwich or whatever your breakfast is, and pull up to Raising Our Reverence. Right? Part four, I went back. To, I was going to preach on prayer, but I wanted to go back this week and talk about Jesus being yeah. enough. And so we preached uh, called Jesus is Enough 2020. It's on the YouTube page. Just click the link and watch it's about 40 minutes or so, 42 minutes. So watch the sermon, take good notes. If you have any questions about anything, leave me a comment there in YouTube if you want. I'll respond or just give me a call or whatever email. Uh, and then if you choose to give, I know times are tight, but if you choose to give today, to keep the, I, I anticipate. The church doing some increased giving to families to make sure that 
lights are on and, and needs are met. And so just know that that's what we're doing. Our budget is really simple as a congregation. And so we're looking to try to help folk, if, you know, in our congregation particularly, but wherever we can, if the, as the needs grow, if they grow. And so just know that when you give, that's kind of what's, what's going on, all right? Our budget is real simple. So uh, those, those online giving links are there for you. As well. Finally, believers, be intentional. So somebody say, be intentional. Be intentional. Reach out to your to family. Read the word. I hear you, son. Read the word. Disciple your children. We're right here if you need us. I have about a zillion messages in the chat that I can't really see right now. Uh, but trust the Lord, family. Trust the Lord. Uh, believe him. God is a merciful and kind God. And yes, he is. Yes, he and, is. Uh, and we're going to get through this. Amen? Yes. Amen. Amen. Get through it. So for all everybody who's amen. shouting amen on chat, Jonathan amen. shouting amen, the Vaughn family shouting hallelujah, amen. Catherine amen. Harris is shouting amen, a lot of amen, amen. going on. Amen. Amen. But we will get through this. Love you all so much. Be good. Love you too, See you soon. Sing Thank the song. God. Listen to the message. Amen. Amen. God is a good yes. God. God is a good God. Amen. He's good. He's good. He's good. Thank you. Amen. Love you all so much. That visitor who texted me privately, I can't read it right now. But uh, feel free to email me at ccfrog.com. Love you all so much. Bye. 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 Bye.